Hi you guys and welcome to my channel. I am M, aka Municorny. I'm the owner of Muna Made and I uh, absolutely love making these videos to show you guys previews of the new diamond painting kits that are coming soon to the Munamade shop. You can always find us at munamade.com if you're brand new to shopping with Munamade. And um, yeah. I love I love getting to show off these new kits. Also, the the um, perk of actually watching this on YouTube and watching this preview on YouTube is that I do share with you guys in this video when these are going to be launched for the first time, the date and the time, so that if you guys are super interested, you will be able to get in and get a get a kit in the first batch. Now. All of our diamond paintings currently are continuously restocked. We have not yet discontinued any of our images. It probably won't always be that way. There will, def there will definitely be things that we discontinue, but as long as images are selling, then we're gonna continue ordering and restocking those. So if something you love on the website is out of stock currently, don't worry, it will probably be restocked. You can always ask me if you're not sure. Um, and the best way to know when it is restocked is sign up for those email alerts on the listing. But these are four brand new images um, coming in the diamond painting kit format from three artists. All three of these artists um, we've already worked with, with Muna Made, um, but I wanted to get some new images from them. And this time around, I went with a little bit of a snack size and summer theme for you guys because a lot of the kits that I've been licensing lately are larger and very detailed images that require larger size diamond paintings to capture that detail. And so I specifically went out and kind of wanted to choose some things that we can make into a little bit smaller size diamond paintings. Cause you know, we all need a break from those really huge projects sometimes. Um, so that is kind of what the theme of today's little batch is that I'm showing you guys. As always, I kind of like to go over general Munamade diamond painting details in case you are a brand new Munamade customer. We love you. Thank you for watching. Um, and if you are not new to Munamade, there will be timestamps where you guys can skip ahead and just see the, the, the preview of each kit if you already know the specifics of our diamond paintings. Um, yeah, also the lighting, the, the sun is going in and out behind the clouds today, but listen, I have a newborn and so the time I have to record these things is few and far between, so we're just trying to go with it and hopefully it is okay. Um, okay, so before we get into previewing each individual painting, I'll just go over some details. Munamade diamond paintings come on a high quality canvas. They're thick and soft, um, like a soft lint material on the back, crimped edges, and even got a little bit of like sparkly action going on in the canvas. We have our logo at the top. On either side, we have the, the, um, the schematic where you can locate the symbol and correspond it with the DMC number um, of the drills. And then on the bottom, on the bottom left, we have the information about this specific diamond painting, including a little thumbnail image, the title of the diamond painting, the artist, the size of the diamond painting, and the copyright info. And then on the bottom right, we have our website, munamade.com, and then we have the artist's preferred social media in case you guys want to tag them and show off your work. I know that the artists love to see that. It brings them a lot of joy to see people enjoying their artwork that they created. So if you have not done that before, and you've worked on a Muna Made kit, definitely share with the artists um, listed on the kit. Now this, all four of these artists are already working with Muna Made. These are not new artists, but this is new artwork. Now, every kit comes with your canvas, of course. You get your bag of drills, which are pre-bagged already in baggies. So if you like to kit up in baggies, you don't have to do any further kitting up. You get a full-size sticker sheet with pre-cut stickers, so you don't have to worry about cutting those out. It has a place to write your start date and end date, and it has information about the diamond painting on each sticker sheet. Um, <clears throat> the paintings are rolled up with a ribbon and they come with a tag. So even if you like undo these and store them in a different way, we have a tag label that they come with. And if you choose, so each diamond painting by default does not come with a toolkit because most of our customers are people who already diamond paint. They already have a plethora of tools and we don't wanna further, you know, send you clutter that you're not gonna use. 
it's just a waste all around. And so by default, they don't come with a toolkit, but you can absolutely get a free, very basic one with any order. Or you can upgrade and get a premium toolkit and premium toolkits include um, everything you need to complete the painting, including wax, pens, you get like a novelty pen and a regular pen. You get a cover minder, you get washi tape and you get tweezers. And in the premium toolkit, you get a Munimade diamond painting tray. All four of these images today do come with small size trays, but the size of the tray depends on the size of the image. And the color is just one that I've chosen that I think complements the image. It can't be swapped or anything like that. It's just a default color that I have like paired with each diamond painting. Um, so that's what comes in the premium toolkit. Additionally, you can also get a dust cover bag with any of your diamond paintings. This is just a storage bag that you can roll up your diamond painting and put it away in, whether it's finished or unfinished. Um, just make sure if it is finished and there's drills on it, you roll drill side out so that they don't like pop off if you roll it drill side in. And then if it's unfinished, it doesn't really matter, I suppose, but um, I would recommend rolling it with the sticky part on the inside. But anyways, those are extra add-ons. You can get them, you don't have to get them. It's just basically so you guys can customize your experience and your kit and what you truly want with it. Um, yeah, and then there's also like a little insert sheet telling people how to diamond paint and things like that if they never have before. But that is the basic rundown of a Munimade diamond painting kit. All of our kits are legally licensed. We pay our artists um, royalties for every, every kit sold. So every time you buy a diamond painting with us, you're also supporting an artist. And all of our kits are hand charted, which means that we have a paid designer that goes through and um, kind of designs the pixels of the diamond painting so that it will be a good experience to work on, to minimize confetti, to, cause you know, sometimes if you just plug it into a computer, it might get a little weird or distorted and not look right and give the, the right vibe. <laughs> and so we just have a, a human that goes through and fixes things up as well with our diamond painting kits. So that's just like a basic rundown of all Munimade diamond paintings. And now I have four to show you today. The first one here is this cute one that you've been looking at. Um, this one is called Boba Kitty. And this is actually from Jessica Maltizo. She changed her Instagram handle to Maltazita. So definitely um, make sure you are following her over there. Um, but Jessica Maltizo, she also has done our Star Princess artwork on the website. And this painting is super cute. It's a really cute little snack size painting, 35 by 35 centimeters. Um, and it is round. I think it'll work up quite quick. And this is a great painting for those who just wanna break from really large projects and they wanna do something quick and fun because there's a lot of color blocking on this one. Like all of this is color blocking and it's just a little kawaii cute image that you can make or you can do with a kid. I've seen a lot of people that really enjoy doing our more simple, simpler diamond painting kits as an activity with their children or they do it as a gift for their child and hang it up in their child's room and I just love seeing that and I think that's awesome. Of course, I love the rainbows, everything, you know, I'm all about that here at Vita Made. And so this kit is awesome, awesome, awesome and right up my alley. So yeah, this one is 35 by 35 centimeters. It is round, it features a cute little kitty boba cup and it is by Jessica Maltizo and let's see let's take a look at the drills here's the drill colors lots of pinks and some purples and there's like a more yellow color up there there are a couple specialty drills there's two there's two ab's in this one so we got one there and one here so there's two ab colors which are just specially coated drills we have this pink ab and white. A lot of a lot of my diamond paintings come with white ABs. It's just a very popular AB color. Um, there's like only certain colors that AB drills come in. Um, so you kind of have to figure out where you can chart those first of all, and is it in a color that is available? So yeah, here's the two colors. Let's see. The pink AB drill is going to be the U symbol, 
and you can find that inside of these hearts around the boba kitty just to make the hearts pop out and then the white ab you can probably guess it is going to be in these white stars around the kitty just to make it pop and you know stand out so really cute snack size artwork um, hopefully you guys will enjoy this one of course, here's your sticker sheet that it comes with, and here is the original artwork. The I will tell you, the stars inside of the boba cup were really, really hard to render because I very specifically wanted this to be a small image. But I think that my designer did a phenomenal job just kind of capturing that. But there's a big sticker if you use a logbook or something like that, um, and you want to keep track of that. There are 18 colors, excuse me, including the two ABs. So not too many different colors or anything like that. It's just a really great, simple, easy kit. Um, and then if you do order the premium toolkit, I have decided to pair it with a small purple tray. I don't usually pair it with like the main color. So if I was gonna just pair it with straight up the main color in the image, I would choose hot pink. But then that would cause you not to be able to see the drills very well. So see, I think these, th these things through. Um, so I paired it with a purple tray just to kind of go with it, but you can still see the drills. And then this one will come with a small sized dust cover bag if you choose to include that in your order. Um, so yes, there we go. That is a Boba Kitty. I love it. I, I think I'm gonna work on this one soon because like I said, I have a newborn. I don't have a tremendous amount of free time <laughs> to work on really big projects right now. So small, easy, quick projects are where it's at for me. Okay, next image is from our beloved Cute But Weird. Cute But Weird was part of my very first batch of diamond paintings. I love her, she's awesome. Um, and I just love her work. I really love cute but weird vibes. That just really speaks to me. <laughs> so this one is super adorable. It is 40 by 40 centimeters. So kind of like a mid, it's not too small, but it's not too large. Just a nice, good, medium sized diamond painting. 40 by 40 centimeters by Cute But Weird. This one is also round. There are three rounds in this batch and one square. So before I get too far ahead of myself. And, um, yeah, this features a cow being abducted by aliens. And the title of this artwork is, Why Always the Cows? And I just love that so much, it's so cute. The cow is making a little sad face and has a little sweat bead coming off of, um, of their head and it's just like so cute. And the, the cow is being ab abducted and beamed up into the alien spacecraft. Again, this is hand charted. So you'll see lots of color blocking here. And I think this is one that will go by and work up fairly quickly. So here's the drills, lots of darker blues and purples. Ooh, there's some fun specialty drills. There are three specialty drills in this painting for a total of 47 different colors, including those specialty drills. So we have two glow in the dark drills and I'll explain, but we might be changing it in future runs. So we have, we have three specialty colors. Two of them are glow in the dark. One is a white AB. So the white AB is going to be sprinkled in the stars up above, there's really not too many of them. It's just kind of like a twinkle, twinkle little star um, thing going on there. White ABs are just the easiest to add because a lot of images have white. And like I said, there's a very limited amount of AB colors that you can use. So in addition to the white ABs, we have glow in the dark jelly drills. I'm gonna insert a picture of what these look like charged up. Uh, charged up and glowing in the dark. But as you can see, one is blue and one is a bright neon green. However, where these are charted on the image is very interesting. The blue glow in the dark actually goes here underneath the spacecraft where it is very clearly green. Hi, Editing M here. So we're not changing it in future runs per se. It was just incorrect in this first batch. So this is why I always do smaller 
amounts in my first order because I am a control freak and I like to make sure everything is okay. So it just turns out that the blue glow and the dark drills are incorrect and um, we are getting the correct ones. And if you order in this first batch, don't worry. We will send you a baggie of the correct green glow in the dark drills to go on that flying saucer. We will send that to you inside your box alongside the kit. So it's going to be on the outside of the kit because we've already packaged these. <laughs> um, so yeah, so you'll, it's just supposed to have two different shades of green glow in the dark drills. And there was an oopsie with the number 12 and the number 22 getting flipped and yada 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 basically the canvas is printed correctly um it's just the wrong color drills in the kit so i mean feel free to use the blue ones if you like them better that's up to you but we will send you the correct one so don't worry if you purchase this kit you will get the correct stuff okay back to me but yeah and then the reason why there's no symbols it's just like a green color is because these are jelly drills which means they're see-through if you put a symbol underneath them then the symbol is going to show through if that makes sense so these are just like round empty spots with no symbol that is normal if you get your kit you're like where's the symbols this is a misprint um that is on purpose the bright green go in the dark drills are actually these these yellowy dots sprinkled throughout that showing you know, the cow being abducted. That's that, very interesting. I don't personally work up every Muna Made diamond painting kit. Um, it would be super cool if I could, or if I could like hire people to do that or anything, but we do have a Muna Made Facebook page, Facebook group, excuse me. I do have a page, but I also have a group where community members share their works in progress and their finished projects. So that's a great place for people to kind of share hey, this is what this kit looks like worked up. And that is fabulous for me because I also take that feedback and I can improve future runs of kits that people have worked on based upon feedback. I can always do rendering edits and things like that. So definitely let me know. This is an interesting one here, but very cute nonetheless. And I, I just adore him. What should we name this little cow here? He needs a name, he's so cute. I love him, he's so cute. Okay, so we'll see. I will insert pictures, we'll see how that goes. Not sure, but uh, yeah, round 40 by 40 um, centimeters and 47 colors, including um, three specialty ones. Okay, so now's the time of the video where I'm gonna drop the, the information of when these kits are gonna be launched. That is on the screen here now, you gotta be uh, you gotta watch the video <laughs> to know and be in the know. I'll mention it one more time later in the video, but yeah, here's when these are going to launch for the first time if you're interested in getting one of these kits in the first batch. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, I almost forgot. If you get a premium tool kit, I have paired this with a mint small Munamade tray. Um, like I said, is because I try to choose something that's complimentary, but not like, something that's hard to see the drills in. And um, yeah, paired it with mint because I just think it looks good. So that is that. And then this kit is a little bit larger. So this one comes with a blue uh, longer dust cover bag. If that's, if, if you would like to add one of those on. Sheesh, I almost forgot. You guys would have been like, hey, what's the tray? <laughs> Okay, so that one's Why Always the Cows by Cute But Weird. Next, we have another Cute But Weird image. I'm obsessed with this one. The colors are so beautiful and it's such fabulous summertime vibes. I love it so much. This is like, it just, I think it looks so beautiful as a diamond painting as well. I mean, I know I'm biased. I chose this, I, you know, it, it's my, my brand diamond painting, but I think it looks so, so good, you guys, so good. Now this is my square one in the batch. So if you guys are fans of square, but you still want a smaller image, this is my square one, because it has more details and um, the square kind of helps us get more details in it. Here's all the drills, so many colors and so fun summertime vibes. It's so cute. I love it. It features a toucan who's chilling in an inner tube 
in the ocean and the sun setting and he's got a little bee buddy and they're drinking a little cocktail and they've got little um umbrellas in their drink it's so cute and then there's these, like tropical leaves around this image is just so fun it's cute but it's weird and it's just fabulous there are 46 whopping colors in this little image. This is a 40 by 40 centimeter. It is the same size as the other one. I think all of my cute but weird paintings are 40 by 40. So if you're like a cute but weird collector, you can have these 40 by 40 panels. So this, yeah, it has 46 colors and two AB colors. This one has white again white ABs and also this really beautiful mustardy yellow color. The white ABs are going to be found in just kind of like the, you know, like the white caps in the ocean where the water's turning over. So it's going to be all over the white caps in the water, in the waves. That's where these ABs are going to go. Also a little bit in the clouds here. And then the mustardy orange ones, which what happened here? There's some stowaways, some blue ones in there. And um, those are really cool. So I specifically asked for the entire sun to be AB because I just, I don't know, just think that's cool. So the entire sun is going to be AB and just shine as it should, as a summer sunset should. So lovely, 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 lovely image. Here is your sticker sheet you get. Of course you get, we the pre-cut labels. Munimade is unique and we have the symbols in addition to the number symbol and DMC. So you have options of what kind of stickers you wanna use when you kit up. Yeah, it has the information. Oh, this is called Sweet Summertime, by the way. <laughs> Sweet Summertime, so cute. And there is the original artwork in all the colors and all of its glory. And this one, if you get a premium toolkit, I decided to pair with a red small made made tray to pay homage to that red solo cup and the cute inner tube as well. Geez, look at all these fun colors. I love these paintings. They're like perfect size, love it. And then if you do get a dust cover bag, it is also going to be blue on this one. It's so pretty. You guys be sure to follow Cute But Weird on Instagram because um, she just does really great work. And I'm I'm a really, really big fan of Cute But Weird because I just like, I like cute stuff. I like cute and colorful stuff. So really, really big fan of hers. Also, she has an Etsy shop where she sells some cool stuff and she just launched some t-shirts. So you guys check it out and go go support her and get, get yourself a fun, cute and weird t-shirt. <laughs> I love that. Okay, and last but not least, this is the one is a little bit larger. This is a beautiful image from Tara Nord. Tara Nord is the artist behind our A Mother's Love diamond painting kit. She is a watercolor artist, and so um, the original artwork is done in a traditional watercolor on a canvas and then scanned into the computer. So that's why it's like, I don't know, it looks a bit different. There's gonna be more confetti in Terra Nord kits, but the, the final product comes across just so beautifully and so wonderfully blended. Um, I just think she's she's got incredible talent. She is awesome. Um, her her Instagram handle is Earth North Art. Um, and her name's Terra Nord. So this beautiful, beautiful image is called Seals in a Jar. And it's just that it features some really cute seals in a jar with some little fishies in, a, in an ocean scene. It's so fun. It's a really great size. It's 40 by 62 centimeters. Um, yeah, I just think it's wonderful. This one's round again. So three of these are round. Three of these kits are round. I did one in square. Just wanted to, I just really wanted to give you guys some easier stuff because I've been doing some massive kits lately in my releases. So I was like, you know, trying to fill in the gaps of what we need in our Munimade lineup. Um, it's got 43 colors, including two specialty drills, which are two AB colors. I'll pull those out. So we can take a look at those. That's the perk also about hand charting is 
you can have a person kind of decide where the ABs are gonna go. And I think it's it works out really well most of the time. So we've got white again. I'm sorry if that's boring, but the white ABs, they just most often are in places that make sense and are gonna look really good. So we have a white AB. Um, these are going to be in the bubbles inside the jar. So each of these little places where you see a bubble are gonna be around here. That's where the white ABs are gonna go. And then this a big old bag of this really beautiful teal color. Oh my God, I love this color AB. So beautiful. So that is going to be like all over the place in the water. So these like darker, more greenish spots in the water, in the jar, that is where those are going to be located. So you got a really sparkly jar going on here. Um, and like I said, the original is a watercolor and that's why there's just like so many different colors blended and stuff. And it's just a really, really beautiful effect in my opinion. So here's the rest of the lovely colors that you're gonna get. These seals are so adorable. There's like a mama and a baby, I think. I don't know, it's just so cute. You of course get your sticker sheet with your pre-cut labels. The original artwork is like that. The background is all white on this one. So there's gonna be a lot of color blocking in that background. So color blocking in the background, but then there's gonna be quite a bit of confetti in the image, but it has been kind of hand rendered so that it looks good. Um, seals in a jar by Tara Nord. Yeah, wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. And then I paired this one with a pastel green Munamade small tray um, because there's a lot of blue and I want you guys to be able to see the drills and there's green in the seaweed. So that's that's my thought process on that. Hopefully you follow me <laughs> on that. Um, so yeah, those are the four new images coming to Munamade at this time and this date, if you guys wanna get in on that first batch. First batches are limited and then depending on what kind of changes or fixes or anything like that we need to do, then the next batches will be coming soon. Most of the time we don't discontinue images unless they're just like really not selling. Then we might, you know, just to make space in our house and you know, just, just to make some space, but most of the time things aren't discontinued and they will be restocked. So sign up for those email alerts if you do miss out on the first time. So that's that, I hope you guys enjoy and I hope you guys are into the snack size summer themed paintings. Please let me know in the comments which one of these you're most excited for. Um, yeah, oh, that last one also goes with a blue dust cover bag. In case anyone's wondering, um, but yeah, let me know in the comments which of these you're most excited for if you plan to get any of them. And also, please let me know, guys, if there's any artists you recommend or especially artists that Munamade already works with. If they have a work of art that you're like, please, please make this into a diamond painting, let me know. I'm always open to suggestions as well and always kind of looking for that feedback. Um, but yeah, hope you guys have fun with these. Thank you for bearing with me. It took me a minute to get the, I've actually had these for a long time since the beginning of summer. Um, but I went into labor <laughs> a month early and that's been, it's been a wild ride. Uh, you know, having a newborn of course is exhausting and a lot of work and exhilarating and there's just a lot going on. Um, but oh my gosh, coming a month early as a surprise, I was not ready. I was not prepared. So things have been wild, but we're getting a hang of it and things are going great. I'm doing good, baby's doing good. He's got a couple of things we're working on because he's premature, but he's doing great. I did decide to share some pictures of him throughout his first, first month on my social medias, but I won't be like continuing to show him. So if you guys just, you know, wanna see what my baby looks like, then feel free. Thank you guys so much for watching and thank you so much to my members of this channel. You guys are awesome. Thank you, I appreciate it. And don't forget that if you are a member, you do get early access to seeing these previews and any other videos I decide to do. I always like would love to return to doing a lot of stuff on YouTube, but you know, there's only so many hours in the day. I just gotta figure out a better schedule and everything. But um, yeah, thank you for that members and the rest of you, everyone, thank you. <laughs> and I hope you guys have a fabulous day and I hope to speak to you soon.
Uh, take care. Bye, everyone. <laughs>